In this problem, we're being asked to graph a square root function. In this case, our function is f of x equals the square root of x minus 1 minus 5. I've got a picture here of the, the mother function. This is just uh, f of x equals the square root of x, or y equals the square root of x. And you can see it starts at 0, and it sort of slopes gently up and over uh, with a, a, an ever shallower slope. The reason it starts at 0 and goes on to the left and up is because you can't have the square root of a negative number. It's not a real number. So only positive values of x make sense to put in, and you can only get positive values of y out. So it's always going to be in this quadrant. Although when you start fooling around with other numbers here, it will shift that general shape in different directions. So uh, let's see how this works. The general practice for plotting a square root function is to find the leftmost point. And the leftmost point is where whatever's under the radical sign equals 0. In the case of y equals the square root of x, it's just x equals 0. So if I want to know where my leftmost point is, I'm going to take what's ever under the square root sign and set it equal to 0 and solve for x. That's pretty easy here. I just add 1 to both sides and I get x equals 1. So this function is going to start at the x value of 1. Let's make a little chart here. So here's my x, here's my y, or my f of x, uh, and I've got 1 for x. Now let's go ahead and evaluate this. Well, 1 minus 1 is 0, the square root of 0 is 0, 0 minus 5 is negative 5. So that leftmost point is at 1, negative 5. So we'll go ahead and plot that. All right, now we need to find some other points. So um, they're asking for three additional points. And it's a little tricky to do this with a square root because you don't want to end up taking like the square root of 3 or something like that. So if possible, we want to make values underneath the radical sign that are going to be perfect squares. So it pays to be a little clever about what you choose. I'm going to choose 2. The reason I'm going to choose 2 is because if I subtract 1 from it, I get 1, and I know how to take the square root of 1. So 2 minus 1 is 1, the square root of 1 is 1, and 1 minus 5 is negative 4. So we get the point 2, negative 4. And let's see, how about 5 next? Because 5 minus 1 is 4, that's a perfect square. The square root of 4 is 2, 2 minus 5 is negative 3. So 5, negative 3. And let's do one more. It's probably going to go off the end of my graph here. But let's say uh, 10. So 10 minus 1 is 9. The square root of 9 is 3. 3 minus 5 is negative 2. So we'd have 10, negative 2. Well, here's 5, uh, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So right there. You get the idea. And then we can just draw in our, our, our curve. So it starts here, and um, then the slope gets shallower as you go on. And that is how to graph a square root function.